I am chatting shit already. Hey guys, it's Han, welcome back. So today's video is going to be a tutorial, as you can probably tell from me being sat down, very fresh faced, not the cutest thing in the world, that is about to change. Yeah, I'm actually really excited about today's video because I'm filming a wet look today, which I don't think I've ever, in like the four, nearly five years that I've been doing YouTube, I don't think I've ever done a wet look and they are by far one of my favorite makeup looks and hair looks, I just think they're so effortlessly, eh, English, <laughs> so effortlessly beautiful, but obviously like you have to put a lot of effort in to have a cute wet look on the go. So yeah, I thought we would film that today because I've always wanted to do one. Um, I think the hair's gonna be the biggest struggle for me. I've currently got it in plaits whilst it's been drying out of the shower. That's definitely gonna be the biggest struggle because honestly, I think it's hard to like get the right amount of wetness for a wet look in terms of the hair. But the makeup I am so excited about as well because we're gonna do something really just like soft, quite golden, quite like glowy skin, like a nice sort of shimmery eye, or like nudes and golds, that type of vibe. I'm really excited as well because we're gonna be using the Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation, which is their new foundation launch at the minute. And ever since I posted this on my Instagram stories, I've had so many questions about this and so many people wanting me to use it in a video. So today, that is what we're gonna do. It's what we're gonna be using. Um, the foundation portion of the video is in collaboration with Urban Decay. Obviously, I just wanna be super honest about that. So so I'll tell you a little bit more about it when we actually get into the skin. I've already primed my eyes and done my brows for once because do you know what? Sometimes it just gets a bit boring like seeing someone do their brows and prime their eyes like every single time you do your makeup. So I feel like I just wanted to skip ahead for that for now and concentrate on the eyes and the skin. So speaking of eyes, okay, the palette that we're gonna be using today is the Revolution X Rachel Leary. I actually feel like the worst friend in the world because it has taken me so long to use this on my channel and I actually don't have a valid excuse. So Rach, if you're watching, I love you. I'm excited to use this. I've literally been saving it for a video. So I'm excited to dig in and get to grips with it. So I'm gonna be using the bigger palette today, which is, um, they're both Iron Face palettes, but this one's a little bit more bigger. This is called the Ultimate Goddess palette, as you can see here. I've like refrained from using it because I've genuinely wanted to save it for a video and it's taken me way too long to be honest. So I'm excited to dig in. As I said, I'm gonna do something quite soft and more like a wet, like golden eye today. Day. So I think I'm gonna start with the shade Passion Fruit Martini, which is this shade here. Also the names in this palette, like I just live for, so Rachel like absolutely killed it. This is the trick now, finding a clean brush because I'm a lazy girl, okay? I don't wash my brushes enough. So this is gonna be fun. And I literally don't have any clean brushes. Okay, cute. Two hours later. Okay, I think I'm gonna start with this brush, which is by Luxie, and I'm just gonna dip into that Passion Fruit Martini shade. And I'm just gonna start in the crease. Probably gonna need a different brush, to be honest, because I feel like this is a little bit more of kind of like a concealer brush. <laughs> like, I'm actually just using whatever I've got available, to be honest. I'm just gonna use Tantastic by itself, which that is delicious, say no more. I feel like my mirror is so far away, I actually cannot see what I'm doing. Great. Okay, so I'm gonna take this all the way in, and then I'm gonna just kind of wing it out a tiny bit as well. Do you know what? I'm not really gonna do too much of an intense I look just because I want the main focus of this to be on the skin. I feel like wet looks are always like more focused on like glowy, dewy skin, which is definitely the vibe I'm gonna go for today. So I'm just gonna do more of a easy, like simple eye. But I always wing out my shadow because I kind of like the lift effect that it gives. I actually can't wait to do foundation because all of the fake tan on my face is gone and it's actually a hot mess. So great. Oh my god, that is so pretty. Like, what the hell? So hot in this room today. Like, I'm actually so in and it's not even that sunny like the weather's been so terrible recently but it's just really muggy and i'm like do you mind i feel like i actually look about 12 with like plaits in does anyone else do this this is why i don't french plait my hair anymore because i honestly think it makes me look about 15 and i'm like not about that life when i'm about to be 22 so oh yeah also kind of just switching between two brushes here which is so unnecessary but oh my god i went to the gym this morning with charlie and i actually wrote myself off like i needed to get in the bin after that gym session because honestly, I was so tired. I literally struggled to drive home because my body was just exhausted. 
Um, and then I got in the shower and even just standing up in the shower I was like I need to lie down right now like I was so tired But that's when you know it's been a good session And do you know what I'm actually really proud of myself at the minute because I can definitely tell I'm making progress at the gym Which is always a really nice feeling. Okay I feel like I've built that shade up as much as I wanted to I'm just gonna clean up a tiny tiny bit with a concealer brush Make sure we've got a little bit of a sharp edge, but it's nothing too crazy, right? Fun fact boys and girls, I just had to take all of this makeup off and get us back to this point because I really just did myself dirty with that eye makeup. I really thought I did something and it looked dreadful so I had to restart. Again, I just got the Tantastic shade in the crease. I'm going to do something a little bit different to what I had in mind to do so I'm going to mix it up a bit. Um, I'm going to take the shade 666 which is like a really gorgeous deep red colour um, and I'm going to use this a little bit on the very inner corner and the very outer corner because I do want to do a halo look for this look. <laughs> Um, but I just did it wrong then because I did the shimmer first and then for some reason I thought the eyeshadow would look right over it Definitely didn't I don't know what I was thinking So I'm just gonna use a really small brush and just kind of like focus this on the very outer corner and the very inner corner So this is a morphe m514 brush just like a really really small blending brush and I'm just gonna work that into the outer corner and the inner corner <laughs> and hopefully this time it's not gonna look like a hot mess because it really did then for a second and I don't know what I was doing yeah I feel like a halo eye look is the best way to go with this also this shade is actually stunning like what the hell I feel like I don't even really need to comment on the quality of this palette because you guys already know it is 10 out of 10 it's so gorgeous so, so yeah I'm just applying that on the very outer corner I'm still following that kind of like wing shape that we've got going on because even though I am doing a halo eye I still want it to be kind of like winged out a little bit and if you come down too low you can just take your sponge or whatever and just clean it up a little bit and then I'm just gonna go back in with my bigger blending brush and soften it out a little bit and then as I said on the very inner corner I'm just gonna literally tuck it there you can kind of like just look down and feel where your socket is for this and I'm gonna bring it up like not super high in the crease but I kind of just want this whole thing to look a little bit blown out and smoky okay and then at this point now we're gonna start doing it the shimmer and the kind of like a wet lid so I've picked out a couple of different cream products and loose pigments as well okay so I think I'm actually gonna start with this product from Beauty Bay this is the starlight sparkle cream highlighter it's actually designed to be a highlighter for your face but I feel like it'll make a really nice base for um, other products afterwards so I'm just gonna take a smallish brush and apply this to the center of the lid. I'm gonna be using the Sosu um, brushes. And I'm just gonna kind of pat that in the very middle. You can see already it kind of just makes your lid look really glossy. And then I'm also gonna use a little bit of the Natasha Denona Chroma Crystal Top Coat in the shade Nude, which is more of kind of like a topia shade I would say rather than it being super gold so I'm just gonna layer that and um, this has actually dried out a little bit now so fingers crossed I can actually get <laughs> like a decent amount of product on the lid but I really like the fact that this has more of like a sparkly effect to it than the Beauty Bay product so it's got a little bit more of like almost really fine glitter because it is designed for the eye and then over top of that I kind of can't decide which shade to use. I think I'm going to go with this one. So this is by Jordana Cosmetics and this is one of the base and sparkles in the shade Iconic. Um, and I'm actually going to spray this with a little bit of All Night as Setting Spray just to make it a little bit more vibrant. Oh, that is pretty. That's a little bit more like actually sparkly, which is kind of what I wanted. Okay, and then going back in with Rachel's palette, I'm actually going to use a little bit of the shade Indulge, which is one of the bronzers. And I'm just going to kind of apply this a little bit on the inner and outer again, just to make it a little bit more neutral because I don't want it as pink as it is now. So I'm just going to 
pack that either side of the pigment just really lightly like I'm not using tons of this shade okay I feel a lot happier with that now compared to the first time and um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do lashes off camera obviously if you want to do just mascara as well that is fine the lashes that I'm gonna use are the cherry top lashes by unicorn these are like my favorite lashes at the minute they're just so so fluttery and like really nice on the eyes so I'm gonna pop those on and I'll be right back okay so eyes are pretty much done until we do low lash lines so onto skin um, i'm actually going to prime today with the urban decay b6 vitamin infused complexion prep priming spray a bit of a mouthful and um, i've been really enjoying this recently i actually took one of these home at the urban decay summer solstice party like the all nighter party that they had not so long ago and um, i'd never tried it before and i'm actually really enjoying it it's like a really nice hydrating priming spray which is right up my street you guys know like a really fine mist as well which is nice so i'm just gonna let that sit and then as i said we're gonna be using it the stay naked weightless liquid foundation which is the new foundation from urban decay i'm obsessed with this at the minute it's a really good foundation for summer and for this type of look because it is a long wear foundation and it can last up to 24 hours which is incredible and they also released a really good shade range of this they've got 50 shades total which i'm pretty sure is urban decay's biggest shade range today and obviously it's very inclusive which we all love and it's actually waterproof as well which is incredible so you know it's gonna be great for like wet look and summer type vibes and also like holiday as well because you're not gonna really like sweat this off or anything it's gonna stay put throughout the day and the night which is incredible and it is a medium coverage foundation you can build it up if you want to but again I feel like it's kind of nice when a foundation is medium but also buildable because you can wear it day to day but then you can also kind of build it up a little bit in the evening so I am the shade 41 N, N, I'm pretty sure, which I was actually matched to at the Urban Decay event. And do you know what? I really love like a neutral shade for foundation. I just think it matches my tan really well. And it doesn't look too like yellow on my skin or anything like that. I've not got as much tan on as I usually would today, which is why it's gonna be a little bit too dark. But fine, I'm just gonna blend it down my neck. But you can see already like the coverage is really nice. It's definitely more of a medium coverage, as I said, because you can still see some of my blemishes and things, but you can build it up and do like two layers if you really want to obviously as well with it being urban decay it is cruelty free which is incredible and it is actually vegan as well which we love but yeah I feel like it does a good job of covering because like I said it's more of a medium but buildable coverage um, but it doesn't feel heavy on the skin either it's more of like a breathable formula I would say like it doesn't feel cakey or anything like that um, and it's not like fully matte or anything compared to things like all nighter foundation which for me is definitely a little bit too matte my skin because my skin is normal to dry so this kind of has like a more natural finish yeah that is one coat pretty much done it blends out really easily as well which i love i'm just gonna leave it there because i kind of want it to be more of like a lighter layer of foundation obviously we're gonna go in with concealer and things like that too so for concealer um, i'm gonna use the stay naked concealer as well just to go with it and this is in the shade 40 nm and i'm not cream contouring today <laughs> boys and girls which might be a shock to some people but I feel like because the foundation is already a tiny bit too dark for the tan that I've got on I don't really want to add any like I don't want to add too much warmth by using um cream bronzer as well I'm just going to do powder bronzer instead I feel like the applicator for this like it feels really smoothing under the eyes which is nice and then as always I'm just going to blend that out with a sponge so I'm just going to press over the top of where I applied the concealer because I feel like that gives the best coverage and then I always like bring it up to the corner or like my temple area sorry like the corner of my eye and stuff and my brow just because it gives your face like a really nice natural lift and then as always I'm going to use some of my YSL powder you guys know how much I love this stuff for setting under the eyes. So seeing as we've got Rachel's palette out, boys and girls, I thought we would use her bronzers as well. So I'm just gonna kind of mix, mix them all together a little bit. And I'm definitely gonna use a little bit of the shimmery bronzer because she always, always, always goes on about how much she loves a shimmery bronzer. And if there was ever a look for a shimmery bronzer, I feel like it's a wet look. So I'm just gonna take that on my bronzer brush. I might use a smaller brush than usual actually, just because the pans a tiny bit smaller than what I usually use. I'm gonna like press it on the outer parts of my thigh pad. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna use a tiny bit of the 
um, shimmery bronzer, but literally a tiny bit because I have got a little bit more texture than usual at the minute, so I don't really want to add, I don't really want to highlight my texture, so I'm just going to use it on like the outer parts of my face. Okay, and then I'm just going to take my sponge and just really lightly clean up underneath. It's not got any excess product. Well, it's got excess product, but not any like new product on it. And then I actually really wanted to use the highlighter from this palette, which is like the smaller Rachel Revolution palette. So this one is in the shade Get It Poppin, <laughs> which I literally read that in Rachel's voice. Ooh. Pretty. Great, then I'm definitely, definitely going to put blush on it as well just because I want to blend the highlighter and bronzer together a bit. So I'm going to use a little bit of Milani um, Luminoso, which is just like forever an OG and like a go to. I'm going to smile a little bit, pop it on the apple of my cheek. Okay, and then on to lower lash line, boys and girls. I'm going to start with the shade Tantastic again, mixed with 666. Basically, just going to mimic what I did on the upper lash line, like the upper eye. Okay, and then I'm gonna use a little bit of that Jordana Loose Pigment slash Glitter on the very center of the lower lash line. So I'm just gonna take the Melt Columbia Ultra Matte Liner just on the outer portion of the lower lash line. Oh, just poked myself in the eye. Don't mind if I do. I always do mascara after all nighter just because otherwise if your skin's a little bit wet then it can imprint down on your skin where the concealer is. So I'm just gonna do this first. I'm gonna like fan all of my problems away. All right, I completely forgot to contour my nose again. <laughs> I don't know what it is about nose contour that I always forget because it's like my favorite part, but clearly I'm just incapable at this point. So I'm gonna use the lighter shade of bronzer from Rachel's palette because I know she loves to use this for contour in her nose. She said it's like a really good shade for it because it's a little bit cooler. So I'm just gonna do the tip first. And I kind of just like draw a line to be honest. Like I feel like it just kind of flattens out my nose, makes it look a little bit more lifted. And you just wanna do each side and connect it up to the brow. Okay, so for lips, I just wanted a really nice kind of like peachy nude. So I'm gonna be using the Makeup Forever 1C lip liner, which is actually discontinued now and it breaks my heart, but it's like my favorite lip liner ever. So I'm gonna pop that on, but a really good dupe is Double Time by MAC, if that's still in stock. And then I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Kim KW lipstick on top. And then I'm just gonna combine a bunch of different glosses. So I've got one by Laura Mercier in the shade bronze gold accent which is like a really intense bron bronze glittery shade i've got the revolution lip topper in the shade luxurious and also a kiko not kiko sorry a zoeva lip gloss in the shade radiant flyer honestly like i'm such a gloss combiner like i'll just combine as many glosses as i can so yeah i'm just gonna pop all of those on now okay so this is the finished makeup look i'm now gonna move on to hair so i've currently got my hair in like four plaits <laughs> Cute. And you know what? I've never really done a hairstyle like this before, so I'm gonna kind of just wing it and hope for the best. So pray for me as you're watching this. I'm actually gonna take this new curling tool um, from Mark Hill, which actually just hooks onto the pick and mix wand. Um, Jordan and Ling were part of this campaign and they look absolutely stunning on like the photos and stuff. And it's kind of like the vibe that I want for the hair. So I'm just gonna use this on like the top sections of my head before I like actually get my hair wet. I'm gonna start off with a kind of like a leave-in like serum spray from Lee Stafford. And I'm just gonna start spraying like the whole of the top of my head with this and like down towards my ends as well. To be honest, it'd be easier if you started off with your hair actually wet for this, but considering I've filmed like a full makeup look, it's kind of dried, so we're just gonna have to wing it. I'm gonna use a little bit of mousse by L'Oreal. This is just the creme de mousse, just on the ends and also like throughout my hair. I mean, from what I gather from watching videos on this, it's just a whole lot of mousse, oil, and like faffing about. So that is like what we're gonna do, and we're just gonna hope that it works. Okay, and then I'm actually just gonna use on the body. I'm kind of torn as to what to use. I might use like Rachel's shimmery bronzer. Yeah, I'm just gonna use Rachel's bronze glow with like a big powder brush. And I'm just gonna apply this like all over my chest. I mean, I feel like it's a bit dark for my all over body. <laughs> but still, oh my God, that is quite dark. 
Um, but yeah, this is pretty much the finished look. Obviously, you could wear this like at the pool if you like want to be really glam and take photos or to like a beach party or whatever. That could be really fun. Um, the hair is like great because like you can get it wet and stuff, and then it won't matter because like it already looks a little bit like wet and like rough and tumble, which I love. Um, but a huge thank you to Urban Decay for sponsoring part of this video. As I said, I feel like the foundation just speaks for itself. Like you guys can see, it is super, super gorgeous. So the links to that will be down below. Um, and other than that, I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching as always. And I love you lots and lots and lots.